Hello guys and welcome back to Soul Zero. In the previous episode we built our colony slightly in here. We're trying to expand now on our design and build it better with pretty much everything we have in here. So my dude is getting things done. Command. Let's send him round and tell him to build something because he already has material so he can as well do it. We're going to pump this oxygen out around in here just so everything has is connected to oxygen yes perfect this thing will pump oxygen enough to hold the, hold the corridors and everything will work fine what I want to do and as I was saying before and that was something that was saying saving resources for is to build, build a methane collector here that appears to be the best location for it so that's where we're going to throw it my dude will be building that in the meantime, I have to grab this rover and select him few few more missions. So let's give him a route to follow here. Okay, rover mission is selected. He will discover all this area for us. In the meantime, we have this thing being built as well. So that's great. Now we have to start expanding our colony even further in here. What I'm going to throw probably is another four-way hallway in here. So that's what, something that we really need to be doing. So let's go build the hallway. We don't want to be expanding too much, but at least a little bit would be helpful. We're going to be bring another solar panel as well. In there is area that we can be operating pretty much. So let's throw one here. The power levels are dropping, so we really have to fix that as well. So let's place that. Let's collect those. Perfect. Throw one extra because I can. And geothermal generators, I can't build them yet. That's something I really want to build with a geothermal lab. So I have to bring more colonists in here. For now, let's just see what we can do. We need to build another habitat somewhere. So for now, let's select my dude here. He will come and clean the clean them, them rocks for us. Sadly, I knocked one of them out. Well, that's okay. Well, it's fine. We're going to move some of the rocks away for now, just so I can build around it. And the last one here, tend to slow down and turn around. Yeah. Sometimes you hit it too hard and they bounce off you, but that's fine. Perfect. What we're going to do, select astronaut, build a habitat, because I can afford habitat now. I'm going to throw one here. Sometimes they get stuck for no reason, absolutely no reason they get stuck. That's alright. It's not a big deal. For now he can work on it. As you can see, I'm collecting methane in here, so I'll be able to send some of them ships away. The one that can't bring the bigger one, so I have to wait until I have enough colonies to do it. That's fine, because that gives me a chance to build a few habitats here and expand on our designs and stuff. Could bring the colonies now, but really, I want to get rid of that, so I can actually bring them properly. So we'll be using this opportunity. To scan more area in here. As you can see, I have a lot of methane over here. So I think the location of resources is the same as the last time. So if you replay the map, the resources are allocated. They don't just spawn whenever, but they are actually properly allocated everywhere. Let's throw one extra methane collector. I'll try to maximize the profit here. I would like to place three of them in here. So I will have one here, one here. And maybe one somewhere here. Now two will be possible, so that's fine. Let's throw one for now and send him running. In the meantime, Rover can have some missions here, so let's give it some room. Okay, I think we have we've built everything. We have enough power to supply everything. We're collecting a lot of methane, and I have only one crate left, so I can't really use it for anything. My astronaut got stuck again for whatever reason he does. Stands in this corner like a shadow and does nothing. So I'll be using him to just fix the solar panels and just wait for everything 
for everything to be collected. This guy has to be spent around as well, so we can have more food being grown. For our colony, as we're waiting, it will produce more food. Two per day so far, so it's not too bad. I will have, I will need more of them in the future. So maybe I will throw one extra corridor, so we don't waste time as we are waiting. That sounds like a reasonable option to me. I need quite a bit. I need 1,600 fuel to refuel, refuel this guy. That's really something I have to be doing. Okay, we have enough fuel to do everything, so let's refuel this thing and launch it. Let's unstuck our colonies because he got stupid. And as soon as our ship launches, we can bring more colonists and hopefully expand our base in here. And that will work quite nicely for us. At the moment I'm on zero energy, so we have to really build more. Okay, let's launch a new one and bring more people. Perfect. Apparently I can bring quite a few of them, I can bring up to 8. I will bring only 4, I don't need more than that at the moment, I don't want to over expand it. Throw some of that. A little bit of food as well. And water. Okay, food, water and crates, everything will be great. And um, 4 colonies, yes, that will work, okay. You need six colonies to build your first Geolab, and you need Geolab a lot. That's something that we'll be working on in the first instance, pretty much, in here. Just make sure that we are not building on anything dodgy, so I'm launching this thing for us. Not, we not, so that's great. Let's go, let's build solar panels, because we'll need them. Our colonies will leave the ship, they will join us here, and that's great. And we'll build a geolab somewhere as well, probably in this direction, so I can shove all the rocks into it. That may be quite a reasonable solution, really. So let's throw that. We are on negative food as well, so let's throw another four-way hallway expansion. And build some more food production. Water is on positive, so that's good. We are still keeping nicely on the water levels, that's great news for us. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be throwing extra greenhouse, for now at least. Can build it, that's awesome. This thing is nearly empty as well, so that's great. As I pick up the crates from it, that would be great. I will have to send my rover here and scan it for me, but that's for now, will be working just okay. Build a hallway here, and then geolab probably in this spot, I would like it. So this dude will have that, and that's amazing, we'll have more food as well, and that will be great. Everybody should be happy with it. We have enough power as well, even though this thing will now consume a little bit of power from, from us. It's not too bad. One extra, and then Geolab ready in this corner, so I can move all the rocks into it. I have to empty my main ship as much as I can. So let's throw that. As soon as he builds that, we can select him to build one extra. And then four-way hallway from there. Perfect. As this dude does that, let's grab my rover. That is nearly done. My rover is still doing jobs, so I will leave it for now. Don't have to worry too much. And let's run the guy at faster speed here. Perfect. And select some building. Food supply spoiled, that's not great. Water supply is dropping as well, so we have to build some water supply. Water levels can be increased by adding recycle center. So I'm going to throw one here. That will help us to get more water. And keep us on positive. You never know how, low, how deeply the water levels will drop. We need also solar panels as well. So let's go and throw that quickly here. One extra here for now, that should work. And we can clean the rest 
so we can have enough power to supply the entire base with everything. Because the last thing we want to do is lose power. As you can see everything here fluctuates quite a bit, so let's throw more. As the power levels drop, it gets worse, so hopefully I can supply it with enough power. Come on. Yeah, you build up. You build this, we need power. Throw it there and build that. Perfect. Okay, I think we're doing fine. We're on positive power, so that's great. We don't have enough resources though, but that's okay. Next launch is available, so okay, that's fine. You go fix that. You go and refuel, not yet. A little bit left. I can wait for that, that's fine. Eventually I will be able to build things that will allow me to... Like 3D printer I will be able to build. I will be able to build geology lab that I'm going to build over there very shortly. Maybe even shouldn't have done it that way. Yeah, we're going to change this design a little bit here. So we're going to, going to do, we're going to destroy this. Destroy that. Destroy. Perfect. We have a crate. Going to build this, and that's awesome. And now, can I refuel you yet? Not enough methane. How much do I need? 14. Okay, 100 left. That's fine. Okay, I can refuel the ship now. We're going to launch it as well. Get rid of it, pretty much. And then we're going to bring more colonies, so let's move the forklift a little bit. Just to the side, the guy is doing fine as well. And we should be doing okay, we're going to bring supply, we're going to expand our base, and everything will be perfect. Probably even won't bring the colonies this time, but I'm bring, going to bring the miner, so I can mine resources from here. As I discovered, few in here, few in here, and a lot around us. That's something we have to be focused on a lot. And Geolab is going to be built there, so that's great as well. Okay, let's launch new ship, let's bring some resources and let's see how it goes for us. Mineral Extractor, I want one of them. I want all the supplies I can grab. And just a little bit of food and that will work. Let's skip it and let's see how it goes. Alrighty, the ship is going to land, we grab resources, everyone is happy. What I need now is a Geolab, so Geolab is going to be placed in here. Probably not then. That's fine, it's going to be placed in here, if that's the case. No, I need one higher, that's fine. Okay, let's send my guy here. Let's do it. Let's destroy it again. Command. Command. So let's destroy that. Over. And after that we'll move on and build up a little bit more. Destroy the base. Command. Destroy it. Perfect. And now build the hallway. Build one extra. Perfect. And now four-way hallway here. That will work. Okay, miner can get out. I will send him pretty here so I can mine that out and start to expand my base. Perfect. What miners do, they mine materials for you, obviously, and you can use them for different things in the future. For now, that that just have to mine out the materials for me because I don't need them that much. What I want in here is a geology lab, so I'm going to throw that. I will be able to push all the rocks around the planet in it, so that's great as well, and everything should work just spot on. Geolab may take some energy, so we'll have to be war be careful with that as well. Okay, what do I want to build? 
Now that I have Geolab, I will be able to build more uh, geothermal generators. And they are much better than solar panels, so we'll be swapping that. You, dude, just mine. That is a great job. Our guy will be already going here, and my rover is doing the job. Oh, he did a little bit of scanning, that's fine. We'll select him here. And then we'll give him a few tasks as well, so he can have some jobs. What I want him to do basically is to scan as much as he can. Okay, apparently this area is clean of minerals, so we're going to just slightly move him. And mine here. So he can dig out everything that we can find on the area. Just so I can start expanding the base over here as well. Perfect. We have Geolab built. Now I just need to select my astronaut and I can start building for our little base here. There should be resources somewhere. Geothermal plant. They provide you with 20 power and they don't depend on the weather. So that is great news for us. So he will be doing that. In the meantime, our Geolab, as soon as they connect it to oxygen, which is pretty much soon, will be working on different things for me. So let's connect it here, let's select Dude, we'll throw some oxygen generator over here as well, so I can just power it a little bit better. Over. Let's go and oxygen generator, throw it there, spot on. Okay, let's go on the faster speed so I can just start building. And then our finally our lab should work. Everything should be connected now. Oh, it's spamming oxygen. Okay. Hopefully nobody died. I don't think anyone died, that's fine. I have quite a bit of power. I'm actually keep this time the Geo the solar panels for a change. So let's throw one extra power generator in case there is any power fluctuation. I can use this to upgrade our raffinery or upgrade our armor. Let's upgrade raffinery first. 100 kilo of ore and 3 boulders. Okay, that's fine. I don't have enough ore yet. That's something we'll be have to have to have. So you mine that resources, we'll build our raffinery as well for our base. Also apparently I run out of resources already. But I'm building anything, let's fix that. Overcome. Fix the water supply because we need a lot of water for our colony. Perfect. Okay. That's alright, because with Geolab, I think next thing we'll be able to do... Yep, yeah, it's 3D printer raffinery, that's going to be two ne next buildings that we're going to build for our colony here. For now, I'm going to just run my guy. Okay, I'm launching a new ship with some supplies. So we're going to have a lot of crates and quite a bit of food, just so we can just replenish. Oh my god, I've done it wrong. Launch the little one instead. Well, that's fine. We can bring it here, it doesn't need to be. It's not a big deal. Brought a little bit of food with me. I have a lot of water gaining. And I can start sending the little ships back to the base, so that's okay. See in here are the resources, that's fine. I can send this dude. Start mining here. My guy, my colonist here, will need a few things. So he will need a raffinery first, so we're going to place that bad boy somewhere here, I guess. Just so we can have one build. I'm going to pump the oxygen generators and replenish everything that was being destroyed. And the population is too low to sustain the colony, so we expanded a little bit too quickly in here and we'll have to fix that. Probably with the next shipment as quickly as we can. So let's see, we're going to build, obviously, raffinery. So I can refine some ores. I'm going to go grab here. Pick up a few resources for us. Let's see if I can build a greenhouse here. That would be awesome. Unfortunately, no. 
Oh, I can. That's great. That will work spot on for our base. Great. This dude is mining here. That's great as well. And everything is going awesome. Hi guys, just a quick message to say thank you for watching this video. I would really appreciate if you gave it a like because that really helps me a lot and helps other people to find it. Please drop me a comment if you are interested in chatting to me and you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook or join me on my Patreon website as well. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe because that will help you to stay up to date with all the videos that I'm making daily on the channel for you guys. Thank you guys for watching again and please stay awesome and I will see you guys next time.